Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you all the tips and tricks and strategies and camping spots and places to put the centuries, pretty much everything how to get good and big paintball. Let's get right into it. I will try to go to every single map. I'll go to every map that I can and show up the best spots and best strategies and stuff. Okay, so first we're starting off at the safe house. In the safe house, some of the very good spots I'm going to show you, I'm going to get there right now. One of the really good spots is right here in the basement. What I do, I don't have any sentries right now, but I put a sentry like right here. And then I put another one on the other side there. And if you're really feeling special, you can put one here. So if anyone jumps in, they'll automatically die from no matter which way. Because if they come out, they probably won't see that sentry behind them. They'll probably be aiming this one and that one will kill them. And that can work both ways. Also, another really good spot, the round's about to end, uh, hopefully I can get there, it's right here. Right here, you want to place the sentry, so if they come, you'll just shoot them just like this. And, oh no, you don't have to stay there, just place the sentry, so if they come over, then they will probably die. And that's another really good spot, I'm going to show you in the next map now. Okay, so we're back to safe house, I know I've already done this map, except I forgot a couple of strategies that you can still use. Um, you could go up here, right here. And then I'm pretty sure you can climb this tree. Yeah, you can climb this tree. And now you're on the wall and you can snipe people just like this. This strategy is pretty annoying. But you can still do it. Actually, I, I can show you a whole bunch of things you can do with this. You can just like keep walking, just like shooting and getting a bunch of kills and stuff. Or you can just like stand somewhere and do this. But lots of people will target you if you do this. Because it's really obvious you're there. And it's kind of annoying when people see it. But yeah, if you keep doing that. Let me just go back there. Yeah, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna. Never mind. I can't show you because I keep dying. But technically, what you could do is go there. I'm not sure. Actually, there might be a wall or something that won't let you. But I was thinking about going there and then just going into the other person's base. Oh, and the other, another really good strategy is that one that I like use. Right off the start, what you usually want to do because everybody usually goes right to the middle. You just want to stand here and shoot like this. And eventually people will just like walk in. You don't want to usually do this late into the game. And probably there's someone up here. No, okay. But another strategy is just stand like right here where it's hard to see you. And just shoot there. So anybody that tries to enter the door, they die. Mm-hmm. Pretty epic. And like that drone glitch that I told you. If you have a drone, you can just like walk towards the wall. You have to walk. Press your A key or whatever. Just walk towards the wall, and your drone will just shoot everyone across the wall, because your drone automatically walks to, I mean, it just goes forward to wherever you're walking. But yeah, that's a really good strategy in this game, and I'm pretty sure though that's every single strategy in this um, map, so I'm gonna go to the other one. Okay, so now we're inside of the classic map. This map, if you, I mean, not the classic, what's it called? Yeah, actually, um, I forgot what it's called, but I'll, yeah. So, this is it. One of the really good places that you want to go, and by the way, all of these things work. I usually get, like, 100 kills per game. If I'm not doing that good, it's probably because I haven't, like, played today at all. But you could stay up here and just, like, shoot people, or put a sentry right here. It could shoot people from almost across the whole map, and that's one of the really good spots in this map. So, yeah, that is also, like, a really good spot up there. And another really good spot is pretty much just placing a sentry anywhere near the middle-ish. Oh, the other team is camping mine, so I might not be able to get there soon. Wait, I'll just get there and I'll... Yeah, a good spot could be if your base is getting raided right in front of the base. You can place something right here, so it'll shoot anyone that comes out any of these ways. Also, another really good spot to place a sentry is right here. You can also, like, stand here and just wait for people to walk by and shoot them. But I would probably place just a sentry here. And right here, this one is also really good. This guy did it too. You want to get one near like the middle, because if you and if your team isn't being rushed, but you're r rushing, probably someone's gonna walk by here and they're gonna die. And I'm pretty sure that's most of the places in this map. I can check, but yeah, don't um don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks and codes and Roblox content in general. I'm trying to reach 50 subs by like mm, let's. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a big, mm, how about by the end of the year, is that good, I I'm not sure, I'll just try to aim for it, but yeah, that's, I can check if there's, oh yeah, also right here, where I am right here, you can just stand here and just shoot people, 
like this and um in the corners of the maps another strategy was will be that you can just go around the maps like this and just don't get seen pretty much just stay low key don't let anyone really find you don't shoot anything and then when you get around here you can start killing people like this oh and uh another ch tip is if you don't know how to destroy sentries if there's a sentry, like I just destroyed one, um, which how you want to destroy it is just oh okay then okay why isn't this guy what I literally shot him but okay so pretend there's a sentry right there right if you don't want to get shot just walk around it while keep shooting at it it can't shoot you because it shoots where you were not where you're going if you walk straight at it it's gonna shoot you you gotta walk sideways around it like this and you should be able to destroy it pretty quickly unless there's like another one somewhere but yeah. Another good spot would be to just like stand here and have a, a drone out so then above because it can shoot everybody but they won't be able to shoot you that just pay more attention and you won't die like that but yeah that's also a really good strategy find something that's like not too high up but like pretty low I guess like a wall like this and then just stand beside it with your um, drone and it should just shoot everybody which is a really good strategy. You could also, if you're, um, like, raiding someone's base, put a sentry that's not, like, too easy to shoot, but just, like, keep it somewhere. And then, it's, like, kind of hidden, but you can, like, shoot everyone. So, if anyone jumps out, you can shoot them. And you can also just, like, stand here. Oh, and don't try to ever stand still, because then you'll be a really easy target. You always want to move around like this, and so then no one can shoot you. Another strategy that you can use that I just found out is that if you have a drone and you just go walk towards something you see people that will just die because your drone actually goes forward into that object like you can see i have a streak of 14 right now just by doing that just like this so you can just like walk around like this getting kills really easily but yeah that's another epic tip from my epic channel so subscribe because i actually this video is probably gonna take me an hour to finish because i have to wait until the next map every time and I'm not gonna join new servers probably. But yeah, look, I already have a 20 streak, and this is easy money. Okay, now we're on to the bridge. Personally, my second favorite map of all time. Nuketown is my first. Oh, and I got the wrong gun, so now I gotta die. Or not, alright. Wait, actually, yes, I'm gonna just fall into the trap. Okay, after destroying a sentry. My favorite gun so far is Scars. I don't know why, but I just like them. But yeah, okay, so the best places ever to camp in strategies and stuff. Right here. This place right here. It's very epic. You can shoot all over. Like that person, if you're... I'm not the best at doing it, this strategy, because, I don't know, I'm just not. But some people are, like, really good at it, and they can get, like, 50 kills just doing that. Like, not even using any other strategies. What I usually do, like this guy, I place a sentry right here. If anyone walks by, they die. And that's very epic. Also, just like the other map, it has this thing. You can also go on top of, and if you're really good at sniping, you can go here and snipe people like crazy. I'm not the best. I'm usually, just, uh, I'm used to uh, like medium range combat. I mean, I'm, I usually have a medium range gun. But also, a really good spot after I stop dying is to go down here this is a really good strategy you if you want protection from a bunch of people raiding you right there and there would be a really good spots and right here because they can't really do anything about it They're trash not really but usually the people down here are campers that aren't too good at the game except for the fact that they keep killing you but yeah, I'm gonna show some more. Something you can also do if you keep dying like me down there is you gotta go here. Just keep walking, shoot so you don't die. Kill some people on the way. You can go down right here and then just sneak attack them. Just like that. You can also do it on the other side. It'll be a better sneak attack. And you, oh, uh, also place a sentry right here. It's a really good spot. Um, so if they walk by, they'll automatically die. I'm gonna kill this person. Sneak attack, see, just like that. Except, not just like that. Oh, and now I actually made it to the other person's side because these are my epic strategies, and this person's gonna kill me. Nope, okay. Well, place a sentry right here. Place, like, three of them if you have that many. Um, you can, like, stay here. Just like this, place a sentry. 
and then just wait for people to walk by and then you can kill them. Also, if you have a drone, wait, there's someone gonna pop up from here? Nope. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know what's happening. Play if you have a drone, you wanna stand right here. The drone will just shoot everyone. And if nobody's good at the game, you will Yeah. It would work. I have a ten kill streak from just doing this. And I'm not even going try hard mode because when I'm going try hard mode, I'm not recording because I don't know why. But yeah, this is my first time ever recording this content. I actually, I mean, not this content, this game. Um, but yeah, see, I killed someone with my sentry. It wasn't probably the best sentry ish, would be that first sentry place that I've told you about. Also, if you go to someone's base and you don't get nuked like crazy, um, oh, uh, yeah. You want to place as like a sentry there or here, so if they walk anywhere, they'll die. And someone's using my strategy, so I'm gonna kill them because that's my strategy. Oh wait, never mind. But still, yep, actually, someone is down here. But uh, I can show you probably my drone strategy because now I have a drone. If I make it there, oh, never mind. I'm not gonna do it because I don't feel like it because they died. But yep, wait. Let me try using this strategy. I'm not too good at it, but. Yeah, I'm trash. Okay. Um, if you have a nuke, I'm probably not gonna get a nuke because I'm talking and recording stuff and pretty much focusing mostly on the not the game, but like the the recording. But if you get a nuke, something you actually wanna do, if you want lots of money, if you want lots of money, what you wanna do is there's actually two ways that you can use nukes to your advantage. Something one of them is to back up as far away as the enemy says you can, then launch a nuke, and it, it'll count as a long shot kill. So then you'll get even more money. That's a way to get money. Like this person, look. It, I'm gonna die, right? Yeah, okay. They probably got like so many long shot um, strategies. I mean, not strategies, money. And also something else that you can do. My team is getting raided. But uh, that's not what you wanna do. What you wanna do is, um, if you have a nuke from doing all my strategies and getting a nuke, so then you become really good at game stuff. Cause you get a nuke. Uh, oh, you can also do this with a drone. You can just like do this and kill people. See, easy. Oh, except for that person. That that person's doing one of my strategies. So I forgot what that I was gonna mention. But also the second strategy that I was gonna talk about. I don't know why I didn't talk about it earlier. Um, what is it? Uh, yeah. You wanna rush pretty much while you're launching your nuke. Hopefully you don't die like I did. And then launch your nuke. Everybody will die. In front of you and then you can place as many sentries as you can beside their base because it'll probably take them a while to get to you wait do i have a sentry yep okay these people are doing my strategy oh also always jump and shoot like this it'll make it harder for them to hit you uh you can also place a sentry like here if they're getting into your base too much oh people destroy all these sentries please let me go Place a sentry right here, and let me, no, I don't have any more sentries. What? I literally had some, but yeah, I'm gonna use my other strategy. So I do this, and I know where they are, and I can just do that. See, it's very helpful because I can see where they are, and there's someone above me probably, and he dies. I was about to die. Okay, epic, epic. But that's pretty much all the strategies. Oh wait, there's one more that I can probably mention. Sorry if I'm talking fast. I just need to get everything done. Um. Place the sentry right here on the enemy base and on the other side too if you can get to the enemy base and they're not rushing you Because then that'll mean that it's pretty hard to get those um sentries if you place them and I just got my sentry and my OP strategy look it's gonna never mind Yeah, I got 21 kills, but I joined at six minutes left, but Yeah, that's um every single one for this I'm actually, I'm pretty sure that's all of the maps that I know how to do strategies for. I don't really have any for Castle. I did some for these. Yeah, actually guys, I think that might be the end of the video. So, I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe, by the way, because I need subscribers. Because it took me an hour to make, I just realized. Huh. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, bye.